Hello everybody, I'm Japri and welcome to another Rust video. So in this video I will be talking a bit about some Rust news as well as a great little tool that you can easily use to calculate how much building material you need to craft a specific building. So this little tool is website based, it's in 3D and I will have a link for you in the description of course so click on that and check it out for yourself it's made by Jonathan Vickers and it's not finished yet so he's still working on it of course at the time I'm making this video it only supports foundations pillars walls and doorways all in wood uh, there is no support for metal components yet or doors but he is of course planning to add that in the near future and I really think this tool is really useful you simply look around by holding down the left mouse button and by moving your mouse. And to move around the camera's position, you do the same thing but with the right mouse button. To place down any components, there is a little box on the left side of the screen. You click on the name of the component you want and then you click where you want to place it. And to undo any previous steps if you misplaced any components or such, you simply press the letter U on your keyboard or click on the undo in the box on the left side of the screen. So that is definitely a tool I'll be regularly looking at to see how the project goes, because I find it very useful. But enough of that, let's talk about some Rust news. So last week there was no patch like you all probably know by now. It wasn't hard to figure out that that was going to be the case though. Gary said the week before that they were going to be working on implementing new things to the game. He also said that it was going to be taking more than a week to do so. And some examples of what they're currently working on is the implementation of farming as well as the new user interface. Gary has regularly been reporting his progress on the new UI. This is what he has come up with. I think it looks a lot better than what we currently have. The menu that comes up when you right click on an item is pretty small right now and I know that at least I can have trouble clicking on the right option when I'm getting shot at or similar. So that's something that seems to have been improved. They seem to have made the pop-up box bigger which I think is great. It also seems from the looks of the images that Gary has posted that we will be seeing a f crafting queue finally. So to explain what this means, let's say you're going to craft structure components to build a house with. Right now in the game you have to click on the item you want to craft, choose the amount you want to craft and then just craft it. Then you have to wait until you're finished crafting that item until you can select another item to craft. With a crafting queue though you would be able to select multiple items to craft and they would build up a queue as seen in the picture. When you're done crafting for example the walls that then your character will automatically start crafting the pillars that you selected before. This is something that I personally think is a great idea. And the next thing I want to talk about is the implementation of dynamic resources. What I mean with this is that when the resources spawn, they will not necessarily be in the same place as before. The spawn locations would then be random, at least relatively random. This is something that they have been working on along with the new UI that I talked about before. They have also been talking a bit about the item icons. When they in the future start to add new things to the game, for example things submitted by the community through the item editor, they will bump into problems with item icons. The style of the icons that players submit are very different from each other and they will therefore not seem to be from the same game eventually. And they therefore want to come up with a way to make the item icons themselves, to make them all look the same way. I think they decided to make renders of the items from the same angles and then add specific styles to them afterwards. So if I understand them right, they might come to change the item icons for all or some already existing items in the future. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have for you guys at the moment. There hasn't really been a lot of things happening lately and I think they're working hard on background things. Code, for example, the farming that you can't really show in a good way for the community. I think we'll get some more info in a couple of days or in the next week and uh, that's just my prediction. But thank you all for watching, if you enjoyed the video then leave a like as usual and subscribe if you want more Rust news from me and I will see you guys in the next Rust video.